Hello Pisces, welcome to your July tarot reading. It can be playing out now or sometime into the future. I hope it resonates. If it doesn't, feel free to check previous and future readings. Also, we are going to read for two people today. You and someone in your environment. It doesn't have to be love, but we'll see what comes up. I pre-drew your oracle, okay? Now let me tell you, I already got a couple messages for you. There is a feminine energy in your environment that is jealous of you, jealous, envious, whatever it is. You probably have a hunch about this and I feel like this is more of a quiet energy, so I'm not sure you talk to this person very much. And if you do, not too much. For the most of you, I don't feel like you talk to this person at all. You just know of each other somehow. Okay, now we also have a masculine energy here and there is a Mm, concern between you and this person, a lot of anger. So expect that, whether or not it's happening yet, I just feel like there is some strife or mm, someone's mad, okay? Someone's just pissed, okay? Between you and a masculine energy. Anyway, the first card I drew, I feel like you get this a lot and I don't know, just... <laughs> okay, this creepy thirst card. Yeah, thirst, thirst traps, whatever. Look, I feel like this is you, Pisces, okay? Now let me explain. I feel like you have your eye on something that you want here, and you want it so darn much, but I feel there is some sort of concern about expressing this or actually pulling through here, okay? Now, 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 I also feel there's someone in your environment who wants something with you, all right? The thing is, there's information between you and a person that is going to come out about your truest, deepest, darkest desires here. It's really uncomfortable though, because you get some tower energy. So there's a major breakthrough that comes in here, guys. Absolutely. And this is like airing your feelings, your dirty laundry, things that you were keeping to yourself for some time, it is coming out. I feel like there's a fear of someone like getting hurt here and that's a major concern because there's a lot of suspicious energy I was picking up on. I don't know what that's about. If it's like, okay, maybe I should say this, maybe I shouldn't say this, or um, maybe there are other people here that won't appreciate me opening up, whatever that is. Just know that there's a breakthrough with something that you desire, especially when it comes to someone else knowing about it, all right? So we also got, yeah, this is kind of repeating, the sun and a revelation. Absolutely. You do have this news. It's a big revelation here. It's going to be a happier, lighter energy. You may have gotten this in your previous read as well. I feel you got something surrounding this type of sun stuff. Okay, anyway, things are coming out in the open here. You're gonna find some things out. You're also gonna find out some uncomfortable things. For the most part, it's better that things are out in the open. Anyway, here we have another repeating energy. <laughs> okay, we got that sun card here. So I really do feel like you're coming into a happier period. Things are going to be lighter. I feel like here, it's just kind of saying something that you really desire again, okay? So let's move into your tarot cards without further ado, because that is really just wanted to drive that message home, I guess. I guess that's what it's doing there. We're gonna use this double-sided deck today. If you're looking for any of the decks that we're using, check the description box. Hopefully, they've all been listed there. <laughs> okay. Okay, partner A on the left is Pisces. Thank you for the likes, comments, subscriptions, everything else you guys do. Show me Pisces, please. Pisces with that two of swords. What is this, my love? Mm. I feel like what we're doing is we're picking up the process of this information coming out right here. This has to do with the decision too, Pisces. Are you going to decide? 
right now you may feel a little confused or something is just stagnant something feels blocked because someone's just not making moves you're not able to make moves here feeling a little isolated you need to actually take a time out and either choose or make up your mind or wait until this storm passes because there's a big revelation having to do with this also there is some sort of decision that you're kind of on the fence about you don't know which way to go at this point if this is relating to a some sort of offer right you may have more than one way more than one offer more than one yeah way to even deal with those offers so i see you kind of going back and forth in your mind in your head what do I do? What do I say? What do I choose? All right. Um, okay. Here's a heads up, Pisces. If you don't act first, the decision is going to be made for you quickly. It's going to happen quickly. So if you choose to stay in this energy, that's fine, but the universe is going to come in and move some stuff around for you. Just saying. Also, this is some revelation coming in. Lots of messages, lots of info. I'm also getting flash flood warning for some reason. Um, can you see that? I hope so. Okay, let's move to partner B. See how they're relating to this and what the heck we're picking up here. All right. <laughs> Also, feel free to check previous future readings, your other placements. Show me partner B. Who is partner B? What are they looking like? And what do they have to say about this? Yeah, some of you may be waiting for the storm to pass here. Pisces. Hmm. Okay. Partner B, coming out with some Sagittarian energy plus a Saturnian influence. Partner B feels like they have a lot on their plate at this time. Because of their circumstances, I feel like this isn't a choice of theirs, but they feel like they're the ones pulling the weight. They're actually being tied down and burdened by a lot of things in their environment as well. Some of you, this could be in their work situation. However, as it relates to you, Pisces, someone here is trying to prove something to you. I feel like they're kind of saying, look at me, um, look at all the stuff I can accomplish, look at all the stuff I do for you. It's never good enough kind of energy. Definitely some fire energy coming out, partner B side. Now we have some Leo energy, so it doesn't have to be. Just saying. Okay. I'm not sure you completely know this. You probably do. Partner B has a lot going on. This has to do with their past. They, um, they're tied up to something here, guys. somehow but at the same time they want you to appreciate their efforts yeah more fire energy Sagittarius showing up I feel like they have some things that they need to deal with but they kind of I guess can't transgressions they have fights or problems going on in their life guys that doesn't involve you completely you may i feel like you kind of know about this though mm -hmm. that's what's making them act this way because you may find that they kind of go in and out in and out back and forth we do see a backside and a front side show me your backside okay They're like, I'm just so busy. I'm, you know. They have the hots for you guys. They definitely do. Show me Pisces, please. Back to Pisces. They have the hots in their loins, their loincloths. Show me Pisces. 
Look, Pisces card comes out. Okay, so there's a love offer here. Okay, I feel like you're really, okay, first of all, <laughs> first of all, there's some sort of energy of you waiting for something. Like we've, we've established this, right? But you're getting out of that energy and that, that is changing. Let me tell you, because we did say that those messages are coming in or there's something coming in that is changing that energy for you. Even if you don't have to make a decision, it could be out of your control from what I'm seeing. Some of you, you, I mean, you could make a decision, but I feel like you'd rather it work itself out. Does that make sense? Okay, that's very interesting. Anyway, you have an offer here, Pisces. It's a stable offer of love. You don't know if you can actually make it go the distance, I suppose. Is that the way to say it? I'm seeing also someone actually showing up to your door. Some of you, there is someone who was incarcerated showing up at your door, wanting to make a romantic offer or a friendly offer. This could be a friend for some of you. Back to partner B, so you can see what the heck. Missed opportunity. Are you choosing to move on from this person, Pisces? This could have happened prior. Mm hmm. Let me get this straight. Some of you are dealing with someone on partner B side who has. I don't know. They're, they're kind of down and out. This is someone who could have lost a major opportunity in their own lives. Some of you, this is relating to you, but I am seeing this person having background stuff, background problems, whatever, that doesn't involve you. This stuff, that's why you were on hold or someone was on hold. You probably didn't want to deal with it. They weren't able to be forthcoming and open. They were overrun and busy, whatever. Something else was catching their eye at the moment. They had things they needed to deal with. Okay. But they get out of that pickle, right? And they're like, hey, I want to start something brand new here with that full card. They're like, I finally know the direction I want to go. Three of Pentacles. And this is what they want to offer you. Yeah, I definitely am seeing someone who's like released from like either a facility or some rules, regulations, incarcerated. They're being released, guys. This is someone who wants to offer a relationship with you, work together with you. It's kind of like, here, take my hand, Pisces. Do you wanna? Do you wanna? <laughs> Okay, well, why did you go away in the first place? Goodness. You had to think about their past there for a minute or what? <sighs> this person comes in quickly. I feel like you weren't expecting to hear from them. Mm -hmm. All right, what's going on here, please? Why in the world is there an offer here? What are we going to do about this? Yeah, they're finally telling you they're free to start something new. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting, guys. I feel like you were just walking away from it. <laughs> or, or you already had. Because... You've had a separation from this person prior to this or this job, whatever this is to you, because we are getting some financial energy, but whatever. See? Now there's like a seeking of understanding of someone's pain here. 
It's like, I need you to understand how I feel, what I've been through, whatever the case. What else is going on here? Yeah, I don't feel like you... This is, this is unexpected, guys. There's like an unexpected revelation between you and another person. It's like sudden. Yeah, see this information comes out. Someone's past has already been dealt with. There could be some legal matters back there. Cool. Not much else to say about that. Yeah, see... This is like um, some sort of sudden news. It's just what I'm getting. There could be someone who went through a, a breakup or a split here prior to this. Some of you, this is a divorce even. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. All right. Let's see for some kind of outcome what's going on here. And then we'll see who you could be dealing with here, Pisces. I like that part. What's going on here? between partner A and B, please. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. It's like, all right, fine, I'll level with you. That's what I'm getting. Level with me for some reason. Let's be on the same team. Let's work as a team. There's a lot of communication here that can, it has the possibility to change things in a better direction. Interesting. Some of you may be dealing with, we need some fire energies, but I'm also seeing here um, some water energies. So there could be a Scorpio manifesting something with you. Or maybe you have a placement. But definitely I see two people, because we have the King and Queen of Cups here, coming together, um, making things happen, you know, making a decision here. Although there's some stuff that needs to be settled, you still have that Ace of Pentacles offer with this person. And the Ace of Pentacles has the opportunity to grow into something that you've been wanting, that you've manifested. Some of you, there's actual like manifestation going on here. And I'm talking about like people asking the universe for things to come in and they come in. This was something that people have asked for, that they had hoped for, that they wished for. It's here. So although there is an offer, there needs to be work to get it toward that Ten of Pentacles here. I'm seeing that you guys do care about each other. Absolutely. You see eye to eye. Whatever. Alright. Someone has a dirty little secret here. Why does this have to come up? <laughs> yeah. I think this is... Could this be you, Pisces? I feel like there's something in your head about other people involved. Or... Yeah. There's like competition that could have bothered you here. Someone's attachments. That's just what I'm getting. Whatever. All right. Let's see who you may be dealing with. If you decide to grow this with somebody, so long as you guys both put in those efforts, you could have success here. Yeah. Who is Pisces dealing with? Okay, we're going to see who you may be dealing with. You don't have to be dealing with this person. It's whoever shows up, people have asked. So it's not every sign. It's just only the signs that do show up. Okay. All right. There you go with that Scorpio energy. Wow. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you guys are going to connect in a way to decide how or if you're moving forward here for something more stable. Yep. If you're dealing with another Pisces, uh, the same thing. Although you guys may be between an earth sign and a water sign for some of you. Or that Pisces is. 
so you gotta make a decision. I see you going toward the water sign right now, if that's the case. Okay. If there is a Taurus in your environment, you got some friendly romance going on there. What is up with all this romance, Pisces? If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, yeah, this is someone who could have been holding back or was for a while, but they still want to connect with you. If you are dealing with someone who has a Venus Aries placement, somehow, some way, this person is not necessarily giving their all or they haven't. There's some sort of change going on there, though. Um, dealing with a... Did we say Taurus already? Yeah. If you're dealing with a Taurus, there's definitely some sort of decision about your relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe the energy waxes and wanes or the intimacy or the passion kind of thing. Something like that. Let's see who else is here. Okay, so if there is a Sagittarius, there's some sort of weird blockage here between you and this person. Yeah, it very well could be someone's past or like, um, I feel like there's something about this Sagittarius that it either you don't want them completely or they don't want you completely, like in a more stable fashion because there's a block there. Or rejection that someone feels. Okay. One more. Let's see who else is here. Ooh. Okay. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like someone here is like, what am I going to do about Pisces? How are we going to handle our financial situations? Is this a waste of time? Um, is someone going to pay me or do I owe them money? <laughs> this kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm serious. Okay. But, but if you are dealing with a, I know I said one more, but there's some, there's a couple more people showing up. I have to do it. All right. If you're dealing with a cancer, mm, this looks like sexy time to me. Yep. Sexy time. That's what I'm seeing. If you are dealing, why are all these people, if you're dealing with a Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, it could be like a Cancer Cusp or somebody who has both somehow, Cancer Leo Cusp, something like this. Yeah, this is, I'm seeing something similar. This is someone who wants to um, be passionate with you, be romantic with you, travel to see you move forward in some certain way, move toward you in a certain way. Okay. If you are dealing with another Pisces, didn't we call this earlier? This is someone, there's some sort of um, peace or a break going on here. Or there was, there's some emotions here though. Okay. All right. So we got that Libra or a Taurus. Mm -hmm. Coming out of a break there too. All right, guys. I hope this is helpful in any way possible. Guess what? You can check your neighbors, your coworkers, your friend signs. You can check your other placements. You can just go spy and see what everybody else is up to because I think that's kind of cool to be able to. But anyway, <laughs> hope it resonated. If it didn't, um, check previous and future reads. But also, remember to leave a like or a dislike, but please like. Thank you very much. I love you. I will see you next time. Kisses. Bye.